Hmm. I'm going to uh, move to West Asia. Sure. The situation there is pretty tense there. Um, and it would have definitely put back our India Middle East Europe Corridor Initiative. How many years has it uh, uh, been set back and how do we bring it back? Well, uh, yes, it has been uh, uh, definitely a, a source of concern for us. And the kind of uh, uh, expectation we had when that agreement was signed in September, uh, uh, we've had to adjust it a bit. But uh, on the other hand, all the parties to the agreement have reconfirmed that, you know, we're all, we think it's a great idea, we're all committed to it. So we'll have to uh, wait for things to stabilize a bit. But I agree with you. I, I think it is a matter of uh, great concern. Uh, and uh, uh, we have to see, because, and it's also a very complex issue because they're not, it's not a single issue on which you have a black and white judgment. I, I think you have a range of uh, concerns out there from terrorism to hostages to a humanitarian corridor to a two-state solution. So how do you get the balance right? And more important, how do you make it actually work on the ground? Yeah. And the, on the same issue, I mean, there, there have been lots of protests in the United States in campuses on uh, against Israel. There seems to be, or there's a perception that anti-Semitism is growing in the United States. Would you want to comment on that or it's a completely domestic issue that you don't want to get involved in? No, uh, you know, unlike a lot of people or unlike some people in some other countries, I generally, I mean, I comment if I feel there's a legitimate Indian interest involved. But uh, otherwise, uh, I have not taken it upon myself uh, to judge everybody else uh, on, on their internal politics. And I hope others follow my good example. <laughs> <laughs>